Hello guys, Luna here, back with another Starfield Unique Weapons and Armor Guide. Today we're going over the Crimson Fleet Faction missions and seeing what uniques there are to find. Now a few of these uniques are missable because at the end of the Crimson Fleet Faction missions you need to make a choice on who to side with and depending on who you choose will determine your rewards. But first, some unique items you can get before then during the missions. So after joining the Crimson Fleet, you can keep playing through the missions until you reach the Echoes of the Past. Near the end of the mission, you will report to Delgado, who will reward you with the legendary Keelhauler Pistol, one of the game's best weapons. Next, during the Best There Is mission, you will pick up the SY920 Pilot Armor, and this one's not missable as it's required to progress the mission. At the very end of the second last quest, Eye of the Storm, in the vault room next to where you transfer the data, is the legendary revenant weapon. Technically this one is missable if you don't pick it up here, but it is very easy to spot. Alright, now you have a choice to make at the very end whether you side with the UC Sys defense or the Crimson Fleet. Here are the differences in rewards, and there are of course a few minor spoilers. If you side with Sys Defense, you will get Delgado's outfit when you defeat him. You will also receive the Tempest unique weapon from his body. After you complete the mission, you'll be rewarded with the Sys Defense Formal Uniform, uh, along with 250,000 credits. Other than siding with the UC Sys Defense, this will throw the Crimson Fleet into disarray, all but guaranteeing they will unravel, but additionally, your companions in Constellation will highly approve of your actions of defeating them, and you won't have to deal with the fallout of giving an absurd amount of money to a pirate faction. You'll also have the eternal ire of the Crimson Fleet themselves, meaning they'll attack you at every opportunity. And in gameplay terms, that means you'll have a good flow of enemy ships to attack and loot. Lastly, if you decide to side with the UC Sys defense, make sure you have purchased all five unique weapons from the vendors on the key, as of course the Crimson Fleet are no longer available. What about if you side with the Crimson Fleet and destroy the UC Sys defense? Well, you will get the Sys Def Formal Uniform, but the big difference is you will get the unfair advantage weapon when you defeat Commander Candy. So really the big difference between siding with the two in terms of rewards is the unique weapon. So you can either get the Tempest or you can get the unfair advantage, but you can't get both. Along with this, you will also get 250,000 credits. So the biggest reason to stick with the Crimson Fleet other than the rewards, is to keep access to the shielded cargo containers, scan jammers, and the largest selection of vendors who will buy contraband in the game. Of course, they also sell those unique weapons I mentioned. You also get to keep the ability to take on pirate missions in the Keys mission board, and you lose the ability to fight the Crimson Fleet, but they will be friendly towards you. The fleet also won't scan you when you come into dock, meaning you can also easily offload your ill-gotten gains if you're playing a gameplay where you steal and have loads of contraband. Ultimately, the choice is yours, and those are the rewards and the reasons to side with either the UC Sys Defense or the Crimson Fleet. Guys, like and subscribe for more Starfield guides, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.